let's run a, a DRC Explorer. So first off, um, there's a, an application option that we add into um, the sign off check DRC command. And all we do is we set that to be true. And that's going to enable our heat map generation. So then I'm going to run sign off check DRC as I normally would. <clears throat> this is the GUI. A, a lot of people do it in a in a uh, in a flow template or a, a tickle file. But uh, I'm going to hit OK here, and uh, that's going to run for a little while. But uh, we'll get all of our DRC results, and then I want to look at my heat map. So in addition to all these other routing sort of uh, maps. I've got my um, ICV DRC heat map. So I, I, I cleaned up my metal fill earlier, um, but I do have, um, I, uh, you know, I know I did a ECO down there where that red dot was. So uh, I'm suspecting that I've got some metal one, metal two, perhaps DRC errors. And so let's just filter on that, um, you know, because I, I do have some other areas scattered around the chip, but what's that one hotspot there? Let me zoom into it. And um, sure enough, I've got, it looks like 18 DRCs just in that one block, um, but that uh, kind of hard to see. So let me, let me, let me turn that off so that um, I don't, don't fill up the design with that solid red. And instead, let's look at the sign off check DRC errors in that area. I'll open up that and I'm going to highlight all the errors. So let me click on that and then um, I'm going to come down and say show all of my errors. And then I can see, sure enough, I've got one area about the size of a standard cell and a bunch of errors in there. And it looks like I just need to do an incremental route in that area, uh, which I neglected to do after swapping a cell. So very intuitively, um, I can go in, see a hotspot, you know, get in there and just kind of make a good guess about what sorts of errors were in there. Um, this is the sort of intuitive changes that um, it's not just runtime, it's being smarter about what we're doing.